Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? How you doing? So we just in here really quickly. I just want you guys to hop on here. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for people to hop on. I haven't gone live in the group in a, in, in a while, actually. Um, but I just want to make sure everyone's okay and everyone's getting their answer, their uh, questions answered. So really quickly, I want you guys to hop in here really quickly. Um, so you guys just go ahead and hop in here. Let's get a couple of you guys on here and let's see if we can answer any of you guys' questions. Um, I hope you guys are seeing wonderful results. I hope you guys have been actually getting massive success in your businesses. And I hope that you guys are actually implementing everything that you guys have been seeing on my channel and that you guys have been learning. So if you guys are ready to really blast Q4 and are excited for what is going on in your business and in my business, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and uh, give me some likes really quickly. Hey, how's it going, Felisa? And if you're in here, just comment. What's good, j -Roo? Good, good, good. So we have everybody on here. Uh, really quickly, I want you guys to come on here. And I want you guys to understand that it's your boy, Chris. And I'm super excited for you guys. How's it going, Navin? Um, a lot of people have been really, really uh, messaging me with a lot of different concerns. Uh, with drop shipping with Q4, so I just came over here really quickly to answer any questions. With Anita. And I want you guys to understand that it's possible. Um, just understand that you have to work very hard, and that you have to really put in the effort. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy. Some people have been getting their personal coaching from me. Some people have been hopping into ecom ecom mentors program. I'm actually about to close it because I want only serious people to be able to get in. It's so, so cheap. And for the value that I'm giving um, with the product, <laughs> J. Rue, you already know, October, Q4 is lit, man. It's crazy. So you guys got to understand that um, you have to really implement everything that I teach. And the success is going to happen for you. I really do believe it because you're part of a community that everybody doesn't have access to. You guys are really with someone who really cares about your success. And I really want you guys to start seeing the results that you want in your business. Understand that it's, it's not going to be overnight. But if you put in the right systems and processes and you do the right and you learn exactly how to run your ads properly right, and how to find the right products, you can start to see sales. Yes, Felisa, yes. Exactly. Fuzlisa is killing. Wow, that's good. Our orders are definitely on fire and I'm excited for you guys. So um, really quickly, if you guys have any questions, just definitely ask them right here. I just want to talk about how in e-commerce right now, a lot of people are lacking um, the right guidance and the right steps. How much uh, was your ad spend expense for the day? Today's ad expense for the day. Let me check really quickly. So my internet is going super slow because I'm on live, but my ads, my ad expense for today was about 800, about $700. So about $700. So this right here, um, actually really isn't like a lot of profit, honestly. Uh, it's about, it's about like maybe like $600 in profit. So yeah, guys, $700 between all my stores. Not just this store. So this profit right here is about anywhere from maybe a thousand dollars of profit, and I have multiple stores running right now. So um, in total, I probably spent about seven hundred dollars today, and in total profit today, it's probably about maybe around seventeen hundred profit today. So about between both of my all my stores and the stores that I'm working with with people, it's about seventeen hundred dollars in profit today. Yeah, if you have a trouble with products, you guys, I have a lot of product research methods that I put into my Ecom Mentors program for you guys that's hopped in there. Um, I ha like, if you guys ask anybody, uh, I have some of the best product research methods inside of my course. So uh, if you guys haven't already got inside, there's a lot of people that ha actually hopped in, um, but I'm going to close it up and probably only let a couple more people in um, tonight before I close it up. The reason why is because it's so cheap and I don't want people to really think that because it's so cheap that it's not valuable I'm just gonna close it up so people understand that once it's closed you're not gonna be able to get access to it 
and th this is probably some of the best information that I put into there and not only that um, what I'm actually going to be doing is I have actually a list of products I was supposed to release it in my private group today but I'm going to release it actually tomorrow um, and it's just a products that I've already been in sales with um, just like I gave a lot of people the purge LED mask and a lot of people were getting sales I'm not gonna give out another product like that because I have to give products to people in my econ mentors program that's not something that you know I have to do and I'm just choosing to give people products because I, I know that once you understand what products make sales you're gonna be happy um, knowing that you sales in because once you start to get some sales in, your confidence starts to, to come up so everyone that's in the Econ Mentors program, you're going to get that list tomorrow. Um, and I'm definitely going to put that out there. And I know someone's going to remind me because I'm always so busy, but I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. So you guys, you guys got to really dominate and understand. I want to talk about scaling up your ads. So if you find a profitable ad that you want to go ahead and scale up, what you need to do is duplicate the ad. If you duplicate the ad... Um, what you can do is you can duplicate the ad and put a higher priority on that campaign. When you put the campaign higher, what you can do is double your, maybe increase your budget and also increase your, um, Navin, um, definitely message me. I'll get that fixed for you, uh, today. Well, you'll be able to access the, uh, desktop. So I'll get that fixed for you. Um, and basically guys, you have understand that to go ahead and scale your campaigns duplicate your ads so what happens is a lot of people what happens is you start messing with your your bid or you start messing with a successful campaign to be sh to to really be safe because I've seen this happen in a lot of my campaigns recently and other people's campaigns like not only one of my students <laughs> not only one of my students but it was actually a couple um, definitely, yeah, Insta, you were definitely one of them. Then I had another student, and um, I made a mistake by um, not only my campaigns, but other people's campaigns. I've been telling them to just increase your your budget and um, or your bid, I'm sorry. And the best thing that I'll really suggest, especially if you already see that the campaign is, is successful and profitable, don't increase the bid. Um, you can increase the budget. Don't increase the bid. Duplicate the ad. Increase the budget. And what you want to do is put that campaign on either a, a medium or a high priority. And uh, I talk about that in my Econ Mentors program. And um, I want to see if you guys have any questions. Put them down below. And I have a couple more spots for people who want to go ahead and get into the Econ Mentors program. Um, don't waste uh, your the time, honestly, because... A lot of people aren't going to be getting access to it. The reason that you guys want to get into this program is because you're going to actually see step by step how to find the product. And guys, just like people are hopping on to my live video right now, people are just hopping on to my store. Um, so understand that like this is this business really works and it's just people hopping onto the stores. People are purchasing. It's really crazy. So ask any questions that you guys have. I want to just make sure everyone is getting the results they want. Um, and I have a couple people messaging me about getting into the program. I'll message you guys after I hop off this live. So one person says, are these high ticket sales? No. The average order value on this store is about $40. Should we do a campaign? Uh, should we do that for a camp that has several products? Or should we split the products each on their own campaigns? Yeah, so when you have a profitable a profitable product from your test all campaign, or your you know your, your you have multiple products in one campaign, then go ahead and just uh, just go ahead and increase, go ahead and um, duplicate that, make another ad with that one product, and go ahead and put that that campaign priority on either medium or high, and um, go ahead and put the bid. Once you see what average bid you were getting your sales at. Um, your your cost per conversion, you see everything's profitable, keep the same bid or increase it by a couple of cents and then um, increase your, your budget. And once you know a product is profitable, great, great. And once you know a product is profitable, guys, understand that.
So what if you want, once you know a product is profitable, I got so many questions coming in. Once you know a product is profitable, you definitely want to put it in its own separate campaign. That's very, very important. That's very, very important. And someone else said, you know you how you said that you have to test products every day. Google Shopping is so easy to test products. If you follow the step-by-step -step system that I give you guys about how to make sure a, a, a product is going to sell, um, how to find those products, um, and you, you, you follow the step-by-step -step method I give you guys, especially you guys in the Econ Mentors program, you add the product to your store, and then you go in the Google Shopping Feed app, and you make sure that it's submitted. Make sure you add your category. Make sure you have uh, your the uh, condition of the product. Make sure you have the actual, um, what else is it? The condition, the gender. So make sure you put it either on unisex or male or female. Uh, not unisex, I'm sorry. Either kids, adult. Or a toddler, I believe. So set all that stuff in your Google Shopping feed. Every time you add a new product, you need to make sure you set that for each product in your Google Shopping feed app. All right, and make sure your title is optimized, and make sure your <clears throat> make sure your titles optimized, make sure your descriptions optimized, make sure you have your tags. So if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and answer them. Go ahead and ask them. Uh, should we exclude display network? Yes, Dis uh, exclude display network. But for your shopping campaigns, keep the search network. How much budget do you think we need per day this Q4? What you think? You, you It all depends on you. Just because it's Q4 doesn't mean you need to start off with $100 budgets. We're not, we're not here to just, you know, try to just rape Q4. Um, and spend money that we don't really know how to handle. You, you have to test it, you know, at your own pace. You have to test it at your own pace, guys. Um, so guys, I'm only gonna be on here for a couple more minutes. I have to answer some DMs. How much budget do you think we need? So start off with. I usually tell people start off with twenty dollars. Uh, especially for your if you're testing all the products in your store, start off with either twenty or fifty dollars. Twenty or fifty dollars. And start off slow. Don't start off, you know, with high bids. I mean, when you're testing new products each day, do you add them to your existing campaign? It automatically adds to the whatever campaign you have. It, it's going to automatically add. So when you add a product into your store, um, once you go into Google Shopping Feed app, so if you have a all campaign ad, there's an ad that I talk about, and it's called Test All, Test all Campaign. You want to have your test all campaign running so that way anytime you add a new product into your store, it's going to automatically be added into that test all product campaign. When you do a, a product specific campaign, only that one product is going to be in that campaign. But if you do an all product campaign, all the products in your store plus any product that comes into your store is going to be added to that campaign. And what you have to do is you, 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 you go in to your Google Shopping Feed app and optimize everything. Optimize the the gender, optimize um, um, the age group, optimize the uh, condition, optimize the category, optimize your title, tag, and descriptions. And go ahead and make sure that you have a, your price competitively priced. Have everything competitively priced. So I'm gonna go ahead and have um, some products into the Econ Mentors program tomorrow, guys. Um, it should give you guys some good ideas of what's winning, and um, I wish you guys much success. Um, I have a couple people messaging me right now to hop into the program. I'm only going to let a couple people in, so I'll go ahead and message you guys back. Um, I'll probably give it like 30 minutes, and then I'll probably close up the program soon. So I'll see you guys in the e-commenters program. I'll see everyone um, that has any questions. Just message me, and also... Um, I wish you guys much success. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And understand that you can see success if you really believe it. So hold on, guys. If you really believe it, you can have success.